Back now with our NBC News investigation. A major vote in California this week could allow more driverless cars on the road in San Francisco. But we have new details tonight on the dangers they may pose. Begad Shaban from our NBC Bay Area station KNTV explains. No hands on the wheel, no hands at all. Okay, I just requested our ride and it's three minutes away. More than 2,000 self-driving cars are on the road in California. Most have a test driver inside who can take over when needed. But hundreds of cars have no one in the front seat as they make deliveries and shuttle passengers. We try to ride with Cruise. Owned by GM, Cruise is one of the largest driverless car companies in America, along with its competitor, Google's Waymo. Both are now asking California regulators for permission to expand their robo-taxi services inside the state's largest testing ground, San Francisco, so passengers can request rides 24 hours a day, right from their phones. Once you enter your destination, the car does the rest. You can't tell it what routes to take or streets to avoid. So if you're used to being a backseat driver, you might want to find a car with a front seat driver. Autonomous vehicles can detect closed streets, drive around double parked cars, <laughs> and even pull over for emergency vehicles. But getting chauffeured by a robot isn't always a smooth ride. State transportation records obtained by NBC News show self-driving cars have been involved in 280 crashes across California over the past five years, resulting in at least 64 injuries and a dead dog. That includes collisions with other vehicles, bicyclists, and city buses. A self-driving car and I mean no driver. Some accidents were caused by other people on the road, according to crash reports. How many is unclear from the data. But the cars have been confused by emergency scenes, sometimes plowing into caution tape or blocking fire trucks. Waymo didn't comment, but Cruz tells us automation has safety benefits. Our cars don't drive drunk, they don't get distracted. Prashanti Raman is one of the leaders at Cruz. Our vehicles are designed to, when they approach a situation that they aren't, aren't sure about, they're designed to come to a safe stop. But you would acknowledge that even coming to a full stop can create safety issues too. So traffic blockages are not something that we want to have happen. Just hours after that interview, it did happen to us. Our first ride with Cruz went as planned. But we then invited a longtime driving instructor, Eugenia Borges, to join us on a second ride. About one minute in, our car was at a green light, but wouldn't budge. It's a very safe situation for the car to turn, and it's just staying here. I'm not sure why. The car eventually inched forward, but kept stopping. We're kind of now riding in between two lanes. Then, all of a sudden, it hit the gas. Oh. Oh. Okay, I don't know what it's doing now. Our car drove straight towards the median and just stopped, picking up almost two full lanes. This is not good. <laughs> People okay. are honking at us. Soon came the looks from other drivers. How does this compare to the worst driving student you've ever had? Oh, this is much worse. Cruz declined to sit down with us again, but in a statement said, the car encountered an unexpected construction zone that would have required several lane changes. The better course was for the autonomous vehicle to come to a safe stop rather than proceed. While other drivers cruised right past that closed lane, our car sat parked on a busy street for 20 minutes, causing a traffic jam for blocks. What's your reaction to it being a driverless car stuck here? I'm not surprised. Self-driving cars are already being tested in at least 25 states, but with no federal regulations, America doesn't have a national roadmap for safety guidelines. Hey there, guys. Just wanted to check in. Uh, Back inside our car, Cruise Customer Service contacted us to say they detected a problem. Their solution? They sent us a driver to get behind the wheel. Begat Shaban, NBC News, San Francisco. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.